everyone, Steve Kim here. So excited, Steve Kim Show episode number 133. Now I'm gonna share with you, this is one of my all time favorite Steve Kim episodes because we're gonna go way back, not that too far back, but we're gonna look back at 2020 to see what home prices were doing from January 2020 all the way to December 2020 for both Toronto and pockets of York region. So let's get right into the numbers. So in Toronto, back at January 2020, the average detached property was trading around $1.363 million. And in December 2020, that average detached property in Toronto was trading around $1.476 million. That's an 8.3% price increase from January 2020 to December 2020. Now in the townhome market, back in January 2020 in Toronto, the average townhome was trading around $986,000. Fast forward to December 2020, that average townhome property is trading around $1.126 million, which is an increase from January to December of around 14%. Now the condo market in Toronto, the average condo in Toronto back in January 2020 was trading at just over $679,000. And in December 2020, that average Toronto condo was trading just over $625,000. $5,000. So that's a price drop of around 8% from January to December in 2020. Well, in New York region, what happened? That average detached property in New York region, January 2020, was trading around $1.135 million. Fast forward into December 2020, that average detached property in New York region was trading around $1.349 million. That's a price appreciation of almost 19% from January to December for a detached property in York Region. Now, what happened in the townhome market? That average townhome in York Region in January 2020 was trading just over $850,000. And it ended off in December 2020 for that townhome property trading just over $955,000. That's a price increase of around 12.3%. Now the condo market, what happened in the condo market in New York region? Back in January, 2020, that average condo was trading just over $570,000. And in December, 2020, it ended off trading just over $560,000. So it's a price drop of around 1.8%. Now, what do I know moving into 2021? Well, it's only been about four weeks right now. Inventory is still really, really tight. Mortgage rates are still at all time historic lows and buyer demand has seemed to be only increasing as we move forward. So the prevalence of more multiple offer situations as we move into 2021, I don't foresee slowing down anytime soon. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, be kind everyone. Take care. <laughs>